And the end I chose, let's go with red. Let's cause some drama. Dear Diary is a game where we get to look at someone's diary and personal thoughts and make decisions for them. And I'm thinking this game is kind of like BitLife where we get to make choices and there are action and consequences, which you know, as a trash panda, I get to control the universe. <laughs> I mean, look at us. We are masters of the universe. We're just watching the earth, making decisions for people. That's exactly what trash pandas do. <laughs> but the pictures in the app store don't really give us too much indication of what's to happen other than help Anna decide her own destiny. What can we do? How far can we go? Can the characters die? Can we, can we do weird things? I don't know. We're gonna find this out together. And we do see that there's an entry over here. Apparently it's a party, Thursday, April 24th. We can ask someone out or ask Rick or Martin so that we do have choices. Oh, cute, they have little illustrations. That's adorable. And then here there are different seasons and I'm guessing different accomplishments in the game. But I wanna try and make a run where we actually end the game earlier than expected. How can we ruin Anna's life? And this game does have a rating of 4.3 stars with 422 ratings. So I'm curious if it actually is any good because it doesn't seem to have picked up anywhere else. Did you ever keep a diary as a little trash panda? I personally couldn't keep up with keeping a diary. I just got bored of it or just forgot it existed at one point. I think the most entries I have done was maybe 10. That's it. And then I forgot about it and found it years later and then I read my own diary and I cringed just a little bit. But you know what else is cringy? Not subscribing to this channel, so make sure that you do, otherwise I will. Slash you, click on all notifications while you're there to join us for live streams and watch all three videos we put out every week. All right, dear diary, let's open you up. All right, we have taps game. Hopefully we don't need Wi-Fi, And it opens up immediately with dear diary. We can either open or what is dear diary. I don't hear any music though, which is kind of sad, but let's click on the options and see. Apparently we have sounds, so let's keep checking it out. Oh wait, we can check different languages. Spanish, Portuguese, and that's it, okay. All right, let's see, what is dear diary? Welcome to dear diary. The story of Anna, ready to change her destiny? Yes. Confirm. Haha, <laughs> okay, tiger, hang in there. You know you get to decide things, right? I'm like, yes. Quite clever, aren't you? Okay, smarty pants, if you had to choose cats or dogs, would you pick cats? Free me 100%. Dogs, they're cute, as long as they belong to someone else. I don't wanna walk no dog, and then if I travel, I don't know who gonna pet my to babysit my pet. Cats are easier. Seems like you're ready here. We good? Okay, hooray, let's do it. Okay, that's basically it. I really like the sound effects though. So let's go ahead and open. Oh, yes. Oh, are we doing the same thing again? Oh, okay. All right, so we have April 24, our first entry. I love English class. Not. Dear diary, I just can't believe what happened today. I was in English class trying to draw an authentic portrait of our teacher. You know that's not, it's not gonna be authentic. Miss <laughs> Haley, with her rodent features, pointy hands, and salient teeth in my diary. It came out something like this. Look at that. And it even says, this is cute, oh my goodness. Yes, that was so accurate. I just couldn't decide if it looked more like a rat or an evil squirrel. It, to me, personally, it looks more like a beaver just because the legs kind of look flat and it could be good for swimming and the, the front teeth are way too long. Maybe that's just Canadian me, I don't know. I guess it was more like a, I guess if I have to pick, I'm gonna say rat because we don't have a bushy tail. Ms. Ratley, I wrote below the drawing. Yeah, definitely, it was so good. I tore it out of my diary and passed it to Logan, one of my best friends in the world. He has black messed up hair and green eyes. He turned to me and looked at the crumpled paper with one of his eyebrows raised and took it with a suspicious look. He wasn't expecting a drawing. However, he restrained himself from letting out a laugh. I chuckled silently. He got a pen and began to draw some lines over it. A moment later, he passed the paper back to me. Oh my goodness! Logan added a tail and stinky cheese. You see, now it looks more like a rat. The tail was really missing. I clasped my hands to my mouth and tried to hold myself. Logan was watching my reaction with an evil grin. What are you two snorting at? Bellowed Miss Haley. Out of nowhere, we both jumped. That was it. We were doomed. Uh-oh. Listen, if you're gonna draw a portrait of a teacher, don't do it in the class of the teacher. Your chances of getting caught are very high. Now there's classroom panic. Dear diary, so, continued Ms. Haley, the exams are in exactly one week and you two are not paying attention. Now tell me, what do you have there that could possibly be more important than English, Ms. Blake? 
Oh, so I guess our name is Anna Blake. I really just wanted to run out of the classroom and never go back. Uh-oh. Ms. Haley! Logan began bravely, but we both knew that he was just buying time and didn't have a clue what to say. I looked at my desk, both my diary and the portrait were still there. Whatever happened, I couldn't let her see the drawing. I just managed two, oh goodness. Okay, so now we have two options here. Put the portrait in my diary and throw it out of the window, oh no. Crush the paper into a ball and step on it. You see, I think in order for the teacher to get the book outside, they have to leave the classroom, which they're not allowed to do, technically, depending on the grade. Crushing it into a ball and stepping on it is way too much evidence. So we're gonna, we're gonna throw our diary out there. It is risky, someone can actually pick it up, but we're here for the drama. Let's throw it outside. Ms. Haley noticed the vanishing of every everything that was on my desk. Logan tried to defend me and we both ended up in the principal's office. Okay, teacher didn't see it. Wait, we should have chosen the one with the crumpled paper. I need more drama. I'm not trying to escape, I'm supposed to get the drama. Okay, I'm, I learned my lesson this time. We're gonna, we're gonna focus on that. Logan is a true friend. He helped me find my diary later. Anyway, that was honestly pretty dumb. Drawing her that way in the middle of class. Mm -hmm. And I shouldn't bring my diary with me wherever I go, obviously. After all, who knows what secrets it will hold in the future. As soon as the bell rang, I ran home. I have a super major event tonight that I need to be more than prepared for. X smiley face. That's the X smiley face that Kitty Editor does, right Kitty Editor? You like that X smiley face, I see you, I see you. All right, next entry. It looks like we're still April 24th. All right, here it says, Dear Diary, today will be Kim and Lexi's birthday party. They're like my best friends in the world. So we have a few best friends. Listen, I think when I was in high school, I had a couple of best friends, but we were basically just a group of friends. But more specifically, I did have one best friend, but we were all good Aww. friends. We do everything together except English classes. We're in different classrooms for that. They're twins, but almost opposites. Lexi has long hair with pink strands in while Kim has short hair in her natural black color. They're Japanese descendants, but only Lexi enjoys anime, manga, and all that stuff. Kim only really likes Japan's technological innovations. Well, I need to look extra special today, not only because it's my two best friends' birthdays, but also because the party is a good way to find a partner for the ball if you're lucky. Mm. Well, if I could choose anyone to go to the ball with, I would probably pick Rick. Okay, he's strong and plays baseball for the school team. And he's super handsome. <laughs> with his blonde hair and blue eyes. Thing is, that would never happen. Don't say that. He has a, oh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> he has a girlfriend and he would never really notice me anyways. Listen, he has a girlfriend. He technically shouldn't notice you. Technically shouldn't. After school, I went to check out the dresses I could wear this evening, leaving me with two options. We have blue with lace overlay and matching blue bracelet, which is kind of a blue bracelet. I look sweet and fun in it. And my red strapless sweetheart dress, oh my goodness, with a red ring I have. It's kind of a vampy look. Vampy, I guess like vampire? Or is there another way to say vampy? I don't know what vampy means. In the end I chose, let's go with red. Let's cause some drama. If we need to be noticed, we don't want to look sweet. We want to look vampy, apparently. Kitty editor, can you just give us a quick definition of vampy? Education time with Kitty. Red dress it is. Oh mama, look at that. We actually have a picture of the dress. That is really pretty. Wait, we're going to a birthday dress like that? Huh? Wait, for some reason I was thinking that's the ball. No, we're going dressed like that to a birthday. Okay, all right, everything was settled. While I was getting ready, Lexi came to talk to me in what's up. <laughs> I guess it's WhatsApp. She said she wanted to introduce me to someone she thought I would like. She said she would have actually tried something with him, but discovered that he didn't watch anime as much as she would. She found out he has a crush on me. Oh, okay. Anyway, who was he? She just wouldn't say. Sad face, upside down D. <laughs> Kitty editor, these are emotes you love. I know you. All right, let's see what happens. Every day you receive keys to access a new chapter. Okay, here have three extra keys. Oh, that's how they make money. Okay, so we're unlocking the next key. Part day. Cute little drawings, I love these. It's still Thursday, that is quite the long entry. Dear Diary, there was no mistaking the party. The whole place had pink decorations on the left side and blue ones on the right. Lexi and Kim's favorite colors, respectively. After parting a bit with my besties, they beckoned me to a table where some people already seated. Logan was there trying to talk to Claire, the girl he liked, but she was almost ignoring him. That's 
That's okay, Logan. Keep trying. Or you know what? If she says no, then no means no. Just putting it out there, Logan. Don't don't gain some bad habits. Anyways, the twins introduced me to Martin, a boy with dark brown hair, hazel eyes, and glasses. Sounds like a typical nerdy nerd, which I I like. <laughs> He was cute looking and seemed to be funny. See, that's good. We like that. We don't want the unavailable blonde hair, blue eyed kid. We don't want that. <laughs> we ended up talking for a long time about all sorts of things until someone put a hand on my shoulder. Hey, who touched me? I turned to see Rick. I blushed instantly. What the heck? Oh, that is bad. Rick just wants to talk to us because we're talking to another dude. He said I looked really pretty and asked me if I wanted to dance. I'm not much of a dancer, except with friends, but I tried. Turned out he and his girlfriend had broken up a few weeks back. Well, dosh gone darn nabbit. So it means Rick has been into us, but he was loyal to his girlfriend, which I can respect that. Or if he did like us, why am I making excuses? <laughs> But then he broke up with his girlfriend in order to talk to us, which again, respectable. While we danced, he came closer to me and whispered, I think we should go out one of these days. <gasps> and then he was gone. I was so confused and I ended up going back to the table. Martin then came close and told me that if I wanted to go out with him, he'd really like it. Okay, we're Ms. Popular right here. I talked to Kim and Lexi when I got home and told them everything. They asked me if I was going to ask one of them out. I said I didn't know, but that I was thinking of now we have to decide between Martin and Rick. Which one's going to give us the biggest amount of drama? I think Rick. Rick is going to give us the biggest amount of drama because his girlfriend is popular, which means she's going to give us a hard time if she sees us with him. I think that's the right path to take for drama. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and ask Rick out. Yeah, I've really wanted to go out with him for some time now as he's good looking. Martin looked a bit desperate. <gasps> Rude! Just because someone has a crush on you- Wait! We had a crush on Rick, does that mean we're desperate? Man, that's hypocritical. I think I'll ask him tomorrow if he wants to go get a pizza. I believe he'll like it. That is hypocritical. Now you sound desperate. Oh no! We only have one more! Now we're the next day, the 25th. Dear Diary, after school, mom and dad went out and left my brother, David, in charge. Which isn't exactly fair. He's 60, just a year older than me. He has less responsibility than our blue disc fish. As soon as they left, he said, do whatever you want, just leave me with my game, and went to his room. Fair enough, teenage years. My little sister, Laura, oh, there's a little sister, went towards the fish tank with her dolphin toy in her hands and her pink mermaid wig on. Well, at least she's been actually trying to make believe she's a real mermaid. Fair enough, I mean, we all pretend we're mermaids. <laughs> at least she stopped stuffing her dolphin inside the tank and terrorizing the fish. I went up to my room and turned my PC on. I had sent Rick a message yesterday on friend book and he didn't answer me yet even though he saw it that is terrible he left us on red uh oh i don't know what's going on he uses friend book normally i'm totally on edge was he just toying with me at the party should i send another message or should i just forget about him in the end i decided to we can either wait a little longer or send another message we are going to send another message we're going to be that person <laughs> Send another message. We want to be a pain in the butt. Well, it would get his attention. I sent it, but he didn't see it the whole day. If he doesn't give me a good answer tomorrow, three dots. Okay, that was our last key. Now is the next day. Dear Diary, Rick told me he had been a bit busier with his baseball practice game in the past days because of the upcoming match against the Redhead Yonkers. Okay, but invited me to go get that pizza this evening. Not bad. We are really going on a date. Yay! Look at the pizza. It's just so cute moving like that. And there's even the steam is in the shape of the heart, which is cute. And so we went out for dinner. He picked me up at my place in his car. Oh my goodness. Since he's past 16 and has a license. Ooh la la, we are feeling like an adult. To be honest, I didn't know what to talk to him about, so I asked him more about the match. He gladly passed half an hour talking about it. He only finished when we were at the pizzeria. Okay, so there really wasn't a give and take kind of conversation. That's a red flag right there. There needs to be like, talk, my turn, your turn, your turn, my turn kind of thing. It just can't be a half an hour monologue about baseball. I know nothing about sports and never really cared much about them, but it was with Rick Jordan I was going out with. Ooh. After that, we talked a bit about ourselves, what we liked, our dislike. Okay, there's a give and take. I kind of lied about my interest in sport, telling my love to learn more. Child, don't do that. Don't accommodate your personality for someone else. Don't do it. 
I didn't really have a choice. He might not want to go out with me again if I told him otherwise. But then do you really want to be with someone who is completely, you know, not interested in things you like either? But don't lie about it. Don't pretend. Find something else in common. D advice with Jackie. <laughs> But the result was a few more hours of sports rules and strategies. I tried to look at his blue eyes and just nod. After bringing me home in the car, he bent over in his seat towards me. And he kissed or backed away. Now, again, I want drama. So we have to kiss. If I back away, that is another set of drama. Which set of drama do we want? Clearly I want the school drama, because if I back away, I'm just gonna end up going with the other dude. And I, I wanna follow through this drama, so we're gonna go ahead and kiss. The lips! I'm actually going out with Rick. I could seriously have him on a poster. I ran to my room to tell Kim and Lexi about everything. I just have to find a better way to deal with the sports talk. I might need to do some research. Mm, shrug. Oh no, we can't do any more! We have to buy keys or the season pass. Or I could wait and accumulate some keys and we could do a part two. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you want to hear more about Anna's drama? I mean, we'll find out together if something does happen. So far, this is cute. It's entertaining. I'm just annoyed at the fact that there's keys and no other way to gain it other than paying for it or just waiting a whole half day. But we'll see where this game goes. If you do want to watch a dumpster fire game, make sure you click up here. If you want to catch a lesson they may have missed, make sure you check down here. Until then, I'll see you next dumpster fire game!